this time on it. Yeah. Taking the bread off that sandwich. Down the ladder we go. Oh, into instant combat. Benny, how do you feel about instant combat? This is the first, the first time in an episode I think we've just popped right into combat. Just like, no delay, nothing. We fight. We here. Instant combat, would that be like, um... Jeez, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, gee, Rick. You're like, you're like, um... You're just minding your own business, and all of a sudden somebody punches you in the face, and then they're looking for more. Is that instant combat? Basically. Like a mugging? A live mugging? As I always said, this meme, and it is pretty great. He was like, <laughs> wife was like, what's the weather like outside? And the husband was like, muggy. And it said, I swear to God, if I look out the window, and all of my coffee mugs are on the front lawn, we're getting a divorce. And then it said, and then it said like the husband. Don't go outside. And then it said the husband and said, sips coffee from bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's pretty good. See, we not we we're not we're not scared of this stuff anymore. We're just gonna, just gonna blow it all up. Really, actually, why not? Well, if the weather's foggy, does that mean like foggy the bear is outside? Foggy the, who's Foggy the Bear? There's Fozzie Bear. Fozzie, okay. <sighs> that was... My bad. <laughs> My B. We, we try and record with the board, and we get Foggy Bear. <laughs> if our Let's Play just goes down the shitter, let's just take Chugga Convoys and just upload it to our channel. <laughs> It could be our gameplay, but his audio, would that yeah. really be stealing? Yeah, we're doing it. Ooh! There he is himself. Yeah, I was gonna say all these piles of puke all over the floor. He is a thick boy. Good thing we got a thick frat paint. Let's see what the fucking game does. <coughs> a blast! Burp. Whoa! There, there was real burping audio? Yeah. yeah. What is this, Rick and Morty? <laughs> Morty. <laughs> so you're Ness, Morty. I, I see. You're, you're, you're Morty. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, Rick. I heard there's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. Here, here. You make me laugh so hard, Morty. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be the worst and the greatest <laughs> evil. Gar, 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 gar. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost Mr. Krabs there for a second. Morty, uh, I'll take you down big time, Morty. Uh, get ready for the worst fight of your life, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get, get ready, get ready, Morty. Get ready to feel the pain of true nausea, Morty. <laughs> that burp was pretty much <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, there he is. Oh, gee, you're right. He is so beautiful. Oh. That'd be really great if he was a sanctuary boss. Let's just like a big ass pile of puke. <laughs> Look at his teeth, like his uh, bottom teeth. Nobody thinks about that. Uh, so something I can show you, talk about real quick before we get into this fight. On the back of Earthbound's box, right? <coughs> there's Master Belch. The Chosen? But it shows him um, oh. at blue and not green. So he was changed what? from the time that material was made to the final. Well. Some inconsistency <laughs> there. Yeah, why would he be blue, though? I don't know. But he was. He was blue. Anyways, so what's our strat? Our, we're gonna use that jar of fly, honey. Oh. I feel like that's priority number one. <laughs> I think that he weak to fire, so we're gonna try that. Is there a way to, um, get here without the fly, honey? Yeah, you can. I think. This makes the battle a lot harder. Master Belch got your fly, honey. What happened to Paula? Nauseous? Yeah. What's the worst, like, feeling nauseous but not throwing up? You know? Absolutely. I think I'd rather I just that. yeet it out of my system. <laughs> so now he's distracted because he's using the fly, honey. Okay. So we can just kind of 
Can I just I'm pee -pee help out? Low. Yeah. I just that's okay. Oof. Not enough pee pee. He lost his mind by wolfing down fly honey. <laughs> I think you just get the fly honey. Like I don't think there's a way to avoid it. Now that I'm thinking about it. But I do think I that, we get that. You know, give him to us at some point in three. Um, maybe it's maybe it was after defeating the zombies. Yep, I think so. Which makes sense because they sent the zombies. This is the HP sucker. Yeah, I bet you there you could be this boss though without using the jar fly honey. It would just be probably a lot harder. Because, huh? see, he's not a fan, he's distracted, so... We can just kind of sit here and wait on him. Easy left. Wow, I, the music got, like, super awesome. Do -do 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 -do. For defeating a boss. Yeah, yeah. Because we boss. Paul is now level 24. What? Yep. That rocks. A PSI magnet. What? <laughs> Morty, it looks like it didn't even fight, Morty. But Master Gygus has managed to get the Mani Mani statue into foresight, Morty. The city will be in worse condition than living in your own puke, Morty. Suffer, Spanky. Go, 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 Morty. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the thing. Black hat, cat, cat, cat. Black hat, cat, cat, cat. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. <laughs> Boing. Goody. Burp. Jesus. So he's had, a, yeah, he's had his influence. They have a bunch of, uh, fly honey, I guess. You worn down? Ah, boing. Burp. Barf. Stinky pee you. <laughs> oh my Whoa. gosh. And look where that took us. Go in hot spring. Wash barf off your body. That sounds Sweet. like a fantastic idea. Let's do it. Drink coffee before go? Say yes to me? Say no to me. Do we want to drink coffee with him? Absolutely. Bottoms up! Boing! Whoa. <laughs> what? I've traveled very far from home. What's happening? This <laughs> was in... What was in that copy? Do you remember how long and winding, how your long and winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. <laughs> on your way, you have walked, thought, and fought, yet, through all of this, you've never lost your courage. You've grown steadily. Stronger than you've experienced, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. Was there a little too much fly honey in our coffee? <laughs> you are no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. <coughs> Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. Young man. Young man. Uh, you have an awesome <laughs> destiny to fulfill. Also, we got a bonus feature of uh, Laundry Copping in the background right by the microphone. Hey, same. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the journey for this point will be long, and it will be more difficult than anything you've undergone to this point. Yet, I know you'll be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? That's some deep stuff. One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you're striving for, you'll be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. You know what, I'm sure somebody needed to hear this. Like, huh. even outside of Earthbound. Oh, that's pretty, that's some pretty good stuff. 
When you finish this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next, you must pass through a vast desert and proceed to the big city of Thorstein. Spoilers! I don't think it's spoilers in the game literally tells us. Next. Paula. Jeff. Future party members that we don't have yet! I wish you luck. Wait, we get a friend's friend? I mean, even though we named him? <laughs> yeah, when are we gonna meet him? Never. Oh. This is a main Google. Is that why the default name was Pooh? Because the game just pooed on us? <laughs> Well, that was a thing. Wow. Let's flush that bark off now. Oh. oh. Um. Get in and wash off all the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Longer ladder. Can go to hot springs. Oh. Yeah, they did fix the ladder. It is longer now. Oh. We should check out the town real quick. Well, wow. that was weird. Appreciate. See, everyone seems much happier now. Much a pre pre. What did he say? You wait three minutes. Soon, you come wait here three minutes. No? So, boing! You have three. Oh, but he just tells us the same stuff. Yeah. Here. here is present. I hand you cup of life noodles. I hand you Mr. Saturn coin. I know hand you my steak beetle. Oh, sees you. I have no something. <laughs> what? So we got the steak beetle. By throwing it at the enemy your battle, it's shocked and stops moving down after you. Couple life noodles. Very, very, very good. Arrives a friend who's unconscious. In addition, it also works well on poison, nausea, cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, controllable, crying, and strange feelings. It's effective this is effective when you have paralysis or you bend down the knife. And then Mr. Saturn coin. <clears throat> the equipped his other. Increases defensive luck. It's not money, even though it's called a coin. So we're gonna probably, yeah. we'll probably give that to Max. And then it helps our defense. Oh there. wow. Yeah. That's a lot more defense. <laughs> like yeah, it, 30 it, points. It's, it's worth it to come back and talk to them. Woo. I think new things. Difficult things from that. Impressed. Someday, sometime, we help you. Wow, thank you. Deliciousness, Ness. You good name. We no name, Wing. I'll have the same name. Oh, oh, please. Breath is so good. Yes, breathing. <laughs> breathing is good. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's alright. Breathing is, uh, is one of those things. Let's hear out. Oh, well, let's heal out. We're already at the doctors. Get a good night's sleep too and see if we can't um, get Jeff to trigger on um, fixing some of the uh, broken things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He does that during the night, night fast. Doesn't seem like anything going on out there. He might be too low a level for it. Because I think it's based off his IQ stat. No, we need to go this way, don't we? Where are we going? <laughs> Back up at the hot springs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, so if I do say myself, so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Set. Did not prepare for this. The second time in one recording session to say, "Fuzz and puddles." At least you're looking at the camera. Oh jeez! <laughs> wow, don't fall out of the chair. Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest of memories, like the time Woo! Aaron almost died. 
I almost went flying. The chair like unlocked after I said fuzzy pickles. That, was the, that should be the password. What this thing do? <laughs> what if the photographer is the final boss? <laughs> Spoilers. That's why he. That's why guy just always knows where you are because he's the photography. From the photographer. Anywho, you know what? I think this is a good time to call it. Next time on Earth Fam, we're gonna explore oh, the Milky Well. Milky Well. What this thing? Thing. We're gonna go through the Ding Ding Cavern. <laughs> and Benny's gonna learn how to sit on a chair. Maybe if you could just be like that gator and just get a lawn chair on your ass. Oh my God! Yes. Then you would. Yes. Yeah. If you fell, you just land on it. So. The foldable ass chair. The foldable ass <laughs> chair. <laughs>